to the freaking after dark show. Where's uh, where's fucking uh, what's his face there? Slut bitch. Uh, there he is. There he is. Hi, uh, shit, Ed. No, we do the show now for twenty one. 21, 21 episodes and he still can't get it. Fucking if one. you watch all 21 episodes, you will see that he is not here at the beginning of each show. Yeah, it's because he's in there taking a piss. Because we are only on the computer for we're, one hour before we start the show. Yeah, we're on the computer for one fucking hour before and he could have said, well, I'm going to go take a piss. Ah. Minutes. I'm ready, bro. Are we on? <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like. Yeah, are we on? Hey, we're on. He reminds me of that commercial, you know, when that you know, I gotta go, I gotta go right now. He needs to hey, get Chapo. that. You Excuse know. me, Chapo. I got a couple of songs I wanna, I wanna catch you on. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I've got one in particular mm-hmm. that I wanna catch him. I wanna see if he knows, because this one's you important to me. You wanna go first? No, you go first. You sure? Yeah, this is Stump Guido. I'll do this, I'll do one and then you do one and then I maybe can do another. Okay. <laughs> Big Bad Bruce. Big Bad Bill? Bruce. Big Bad Bruce. It's a song called Big Bad Bruce. That one I you got me on. I don't know that one. Okay. I know Big Bad John. All right. Big it's, Bad uh, it's Steve Greenberg. Oh, All right, go ahead. Greenberg. I said it's got to be in popular music. That is not popular. Nobody knows who the fuck Steve Greenberg is. All right, then. Here, okay, all right. I, I'm so sorry. Okay, you want... Okay, here, here's here's one here. How about... Uh, um, uh, let me think here. Uh, Sam Stone. Sam Stone. Is that the name of the song or the band? That's the name of the song. Sam okay. Stone. You got and, me on- uh, Another, you want another song by them? Sure, you went and tried to find the most ridiculous things ever, didn't you? What, what, no. What's the next? No, Spite of Ourselves. Spite of Ourselves. Okay, John, John Prine. Okay, I do know the name John Prine. I do know that. Yeah. I, I guess that's... Uh, yeah, that's something that blew me up. John Prine, isn't he a more recent artist, though? Well, John Prine was in uh, fucking Velvet Underground, I believe. Velvet Underground. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. He just died. And he was a he was a country folk singer. Uh oh. Man, I'm thinking of somebody else then. Okay, those are good ones, but I still don't think that's popular music. What I'm talking about is stuff that hit on the billboard charts, like you know, like like you said the other day, spiral staircase or ambrosia or stuff, you know, stuff that hit on the charts. I Okay, know. all right, then all right, then all right. I guess I guess you're going to say I'm cheating, but... Uh, oh, if you're listening out there, we're doing wow, uh, Stump Guido. So if you have any questions, no, go, into our, <laughs> go into our Spreaker and go into uh, where you can go into the chat in Spreaker and try and Stump Guido, okay? I was All a, right, I, I've I was got one for you. 40 DJ, so yeah. Uh, what is it? What is it there, uh, you might remember this one. Now, okay. I don't about- remember the title. Now, wait, let me finish. All right. Cool your jets. Uh, all right, because I you let me get started here, and now I'm starting because you went silent right. on me. All, all right. right, good, 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 all good. Right. All right, there's a song. Now, I don't know the title or the artist. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's killing me. All right. It's killing me. It's a song about the contender who's getting ready to go up in the heavyweight championship of the world against the, the veteran guy that's defending his championship and there's this low light it was during the time of leon spinks versus muhammad ali that wasn't bob dylan was it no no, no that was no that was, no. Um, that was hurricane you're thinking about yeah yeah just, i'm telling you guido it's been killing me hey, and I, free ride, I, I believe he did another song called the boxer well that uh, boxer, boxer was, was he's, uh, uh, by, uh um um, 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 Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's Paul yeah Simon. The boxer. That was one song, and then there was this other song. Was it a girl or a bu- guy? It was a guy. It was a guy. It was a guy, and he had this higher voice. He almost sounded like. I want to say he almost sounded like, um, 
what's his name from Sticks? Dennis. Uh, yeah. yeah, Dennis. Dennis or the Dennis. guy from you remember the uh, Budweiser commercials with the guys that sang? Um, uh, the, the lead singer from oh, what the fuck band was he in? <laughs> Son of a bitch. He was. Well, uh, oh wait a minute. He I did think, all the I uh, commercials. I, it was you know, seventy seventy. Uh, men of, of uh, you know, that's the voice. That's what it sounded like. And it's about this boxer I think that's, that's going up against I think the one you're talking about is about Tony Fleming. Your I mic's off. Tony, Tony Fleming. Your mic's off. Well, no, it's not, is it? Oh, yeah, it must be. I hear him. I hear you him. hear me? I can't yeah. hear one of you. Oh, your I mic's hear, off. Yeah. I hear you. I, can, uh, I hear yeah, everybody. Well. Hello, testing one, two. <laughs> I don't know. I he turn, does. Hey, if my leg, my my uh, remote got caught between my leg and my chair, and it turned me down. <laughs> All right, I I think I think the song you're talking about came out like '77. Yeah, it's and about I think the right it's, time. I think it's by a, a guy named Tony Fleming. Tony Fleming, you know, if you got this, I am gonna be fucking freaking out. <laughs> it, I remember something this. about. I remember something about. I'm trying to think of the lyrics. Something about there was a mirror on the wall, and he. Yeah, he's doing shadow boxing, and then he says, he says, you're the veteran with all the wins, but now you're losing a step. It's my turn to win. That kind of a thing, man. It was a fucking, what was that name? Tony what? Fleming. Tony Fleming. But now that you're singing that, that doesn't sound like that one now. Those lyrics you just said. It was a two M's or one? Two. Two, two, two M. Tony Fleming. Or no. No, I'm sorry, not Tony. Tommy. 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 T O M M Y. Right. I'm not sure if that's the one. But um there was a lot of songs like that back then because of Rocky and all the contender fights, you know what I mean? Like all the uh, the Thrill of Manila or whatever, Thunder in the Jungle, Rumble in the Jungle. Those were all those late yeah. 70s. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there's a thing you can go on, Free Ride. It's called uh, lyrics.com, and you could type the lyrics in that you just were saying, and it, it might give you the song. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm, I'm thinking right. of. This guy was a voice of Ireland. The voice of Ireland? Tom yeah, Fleming? that's totally Tommy Fleming. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not yes. sure about that one. So you guys went way. You guys went way. Uh, I mean, your one was uh, cool. I know I it like was that. on the charts. Yeah, yeah. I know that it was one. on the charts. I know what you're talking about. I just can't think of it that if, one. If it pops into your head, will you please let me I know? Because I've got to have it. I know. I, I've I, got to have it. I had these. All right, last ones. one. Last one here. Um, uh, the song is uh, It Never Rains in California. Albert Hammond. God damn, he's good. This guy's good. Well, I knew that um, one too. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Now, if you get those kind of like that, I'll get that's most what of that. Yeah, like like yeah. that. Yeah. They got to be like songs that were on the radio because I was a DJ for you know since 1991 in capacities of oldies and top forties and all this stuff. So I know a lot about popular music. Um, right. I, I know a lot about not popular music too, but I wouldn't bet any money on that. You know what I mean? Like, I bet money on pop music, you know? I don't know why. I've always been good with pop music. Even though my favorite music is rock and roll, I've always been really interested in a, a lot of different pop music. Some pop music is really good. You know, I mean, there's some out there that blows my mind away. Simon and Garfunkel is really a pop band. Yeah. You know, I mean, they're not a rock band by any means. And right, we all enjoy right. Simon and Garfunkel, you know. So right. there is shades of pop that are are great. Some will say the Beatles are more of a pop group than a rock group. Um, that's yeah, well, an more argument, on, argument, you know. Well, it is. It's an argument that will never be won. Um, right. You, you know, never. Uh, like we're the Rolling Stones. We're rock. You know, they're not pop. They did some pop songs, but they're a rock band. You know. Right. Uh, there's a big difference there. Uh, you could just tell them by the way they write and by the way they play that uh, they're rock. 
he's looking yeah. for that song. It's still bothering him. Uh, I'll think about it. I'm and, sorry. Yeah. If you th- if you figure it out for me, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'm the contender. Yeah, I, I could. I could have yeah, been, been a contender. But no, it was um, it was a song about a f- about that fight, man. It was, came out at about the same time when Leon Spinks beat Muhammad Ali in the first fight. Yeah, Leon. Yeah. I forgot that Leon Spinks um, beat, beat Muhammad him. Ali. Yeah, yeah, it was around the same time, and it's the same voice. It say he sounds just like the guys uh, that did the Budweisers at Real Men. Yeah, I know Budweiser, you're talking Yeah, about. real men of, of Budweiser or whatever the fuck it was. Real men of genius. You're real men of genius, yeah. Yeah, but his, that sound of his voice was exa- exactly the same. It was so yeah, close. Yeah. That was, was so- actually, the real men of genius was uh, the lead singer of, the first lead singer of Survivor. Survivor, exactly. Yeah. Uh, the one yeah. who did the Eye of the Tiger. Uh, yeah. I forgot his name offhand, but that was him. You know, and yeah. that's his claim to fame after uh, yeah. doing one of the biggest hits in the world, I Have the Tiger, then he leaves the band. Yeah. That's crazy to do Budweiser yeah. commercials. Yeah, yeah, I can do Budweiser commercials. <laughs> Look at me. I'm talented. Yeah, but they paid him a lot for those commercials because they were funny as hell. Oh, sure they were. He, he's still a DJ, you know. Yeah, is he? Yeah, he's still a DJ. He's still well, Survivor around. wasn't really anything special after the mid '80s. They were gone, anyways. Yeah, they you know, were done. Uh, when they he were, left, yeah, they didn't you know do who, much after he, he left. Was a keyboard player in Survivor, Jim Petrick, and he was a guitar player too. Uh, he got his start in another band. He was a lead singer in another band in the early '70s. Really? Yeah, what he was the was lead that? singer in the Ides of March. With the Ides you. of March. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah, was Jim March, Petrick, yeah? who went on in the late seventies to form Survivor, but he was the guitar player slash songwriter. He didn't sing in that band. But originally, I love Eye of the Tiger. You know, yeah, if it, it didn't get, you know, if it didn't get played a lot, it would be a, it would be a classic. Mm-hmm. If it didn't get played the way, you know, the oh. way they played it, I mean, yeah, it I just it has that kind of resurgence power where it, it was. They so, played it at football games. Yeah. They played it at. They played it at football games. They played yeah. it at uh, uh, conventions, sales. Well, conventions. when it goes away, it gets on people's mind too much. Then it goes away, but then it seems to recycle itself back into popularity. Yeah. You know, yeah, the Eye of the years. Tiger. Yeah. yeah. That, now that one was written for. Actually, the Eye of the Tiger was written for what's his name, Mike Tyson. Yeah. When Mike Tyson was fighting. That was that was his thing, man. That was that yeah. was his. When he come out, they play either the down, 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 down. Yeah, but when he sang down. it first, it was on the eye of the tiger. <laughs> I'll bite your ear off. <laughs> yeah. Mike Tyson talks to me. I'd be like, "You're a." Then I get punched in the mouth. You know. Oh, he'd kill you. Yeah. You, know, his, have you ever seen the size of his hands? Oh yeah, yeah. That motherfucker let me tell you something. Wide man. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. Of forties and fifties wrestler here. Just speaking about hands. There's this wrestler around here. He's gone now, but he was a professional wrestler named Ilio De Paolo, and his family owns a restaurant here. But he, every year he used to do this charity dinner, and we used to go to it. And I would shake his hand, and I swear to God, it was like five of my hands. Okay, yeah. now he was a wrestler back in the go like the forties, and that they were just. Big men. They didn't do steroids and shit, and you know. No, but they were just huge. This dude's hand was as big as my whole arm, pretty much. That's just like he should have been a wrestler. He couldn't have been anything else, you know. I mean, it was like he was meant to be a wrestler. People used to feel sorry for Andre the Giant. Oh, I would too, man. He's fucking huge. The man was Andre the Giant. Was what seven four, seven three, yeah, four hundred. Yeah. Some pounds. He was huge, but his face, people, it was almost like elephantitis kind of yeah. a thing. He had the face that didn't fit his body. Well, you know? everything in his body kept growing. Like you, you, all of us, our organs, yeah. whatever, grow to the size they need to be. Then they stop. His still kept growing. Like yeah. his organs, his heart, his heart, you know, everything. So it, I guess, I don't know if there was corrective surgery then but there is now because the big show had the same disease and he got corrective surgery and he stopped growing uh who's a wrestler in the last 20 years or something like that 
Uh, so I don't know if Andre the Giant had that. Maybe if they did, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to ruin his career. Maybe. maybe. Well, yeah. maybe he didn't have the the go uh, the uh, the wherewithal, the money to do it right. at well, that time. Would, they weren't making yeah. a lot of money back then. I mean, they really weren't making a lot of money. And he he was uh, like I said, seven foot four. They said his heart was uh, uh, his heart was twice the size of an average human. That's how yeah. big his heart was. Well, right, as I said, like everything step kept growing. Where you know yeah. ours gets to where it's supposed to be, and it stops. Uh, yeah. Nothing stopped. Like I'm not saying it grew six times the size, but it slow, slow, slowly, slowly grew. Probably every year of his life, you know, he right. just kept growing, right. and uh, he died at over 500 fucking pounds. Yeah, he died um, at his dad's funeral. I can't remember. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he was at his dad's died, funeral. Yeah. Um, like young, he was only early forties, I think. Early forties, yeah, yeah. He dropped dead of a heart attack. But yeah. boy, he drank. Mm-hmm. He oh yeah, was a drinking motherfucker. Cases by himself. Cases Bottle by himself. Wine. Yeah, he used to buy out the bar so they could keep it open. And he, he was the highest paid wrestler forever until like Hulk Hogan came along. Right. Hulk Hogan He's, changed it. Hulk Hogan changed the face of wrestling altogether. Yeah. He made well, ain't it funny how shit changes, you know? I mean, uh, shit changes all the time, man. Remember back in the day, way back, way back, they said that the, the pen was mightier than the sword? Yeah. Well, now, yeah. what's more mighty than the pen? Well, yeah. <laughs> AK-47. <laughs> no, the camera. The camera. The, cam- the camera. Well, yeah. yeah, when that saying was, uh, you know, de- written or made up, there might have been cameras, but you didn't have them attached to your fucking body all 24-7 that you can just go snap. You got to load the film, get the flash bulb up. You know, I mean, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Who would have thought of that? You know? Cameras uh, come a long way. Sure. I mean, on your cell phone. They put those yeah. cameras up in intersections, right, where they can get you for running a red light on a camera now. Well, they yeah. can't do that in certain places. They say it's unconstitutional because you don't know who's driving the car. Could have been nice. a kid. Could have yeah. been his brother. Could have been an uncle. Could have been a friend driving your car. So you don't know. Who, I wasn't driving a fucking car. Yeah. You can't get well, me a fucking ticket. Well, we have uh, cameras bullshit. on every throughway. We got rid of the tolls here. So if you don't have a monthly easy pass, they'll send you a bill in the mail for a quarter. Yeah, or if they don't, uh, and it, it, it grows too, the right. penalty. And, sure. and, and you can't get a registration sticker without it. Paying right. It. right. Yeah, I do right. the monthly toll fee. I pay the 20 bucks a month and that's fine. You know, I don't that's use right. tolls all that much, but I'm not gonna get stuck paying fees. I forgot about a 25 center one time and I went to get my Reggie. Mm-hmm. They said fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah, fifty-five dollars yeah, or something, man. It was, it was. Oh, yeah. I'm going wait a minute. You know, <laughs> what are you almost, talking about? Yeah. Almost two hundred dollars to register my car. Then you know, I'm just going wait. Oh, fuck. Well, that was expensive back then. That was high. But well, now it's thousands of dollars to register your fucking car. I, I got to pay personal property tax every year. It's almost a thousand dollars every fucking year when I pay. Yeah, that's money. crazy. We don't do that. We pay tax on the vehicle when we buy it, and and when we sell it. That's it. Yeah. yeah you, we don't pay tax any other time. On, that's 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 people, ridiculous. People pay personal property tax on their house, and they don't own it. The bank does. Right. And nobody owns yeah. it. Nobody owns their house. The bank does. How can you? It's not your personal property. You don't own it. That's why I won't yeah. buy a house anymore. I just you won't never, buy a house. And you, you don't actually, you actually don't own the property you live on either. Because if the government wanted to, they they zone it as whatever, and it's theirs. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, getting so, back to the camera thing, they stopped doing the camera, the the cameras where they would give you a ticket for running a red light or not using, you know, making an illegal left-hand turn or right-hand turn. They stopped doing that because it was unconstitutional. So now those cameras are in place to watch accidents. Mm-hmm. Okay. He ran that red light and he got T-boned. That's what happened. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then they also have it there for crimes, yeah. carjacking, well, shootings. Well, I, you see that it's a double, double, like, edge sword on that 
in, in certain instances, I'm OK with that. But then it, then if you look at it another way, it is an invasion of your privacy and it is unconstitutional. OK, uh, you should have the, the ability to have privacy when you walk down the street. OK, um, but then again, in high high crime areas, it might be a great there's tool. No, to text there's them. no expectation to to privacy in public. There's no well, expectation. Public, I guess no. They, you're right on that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there, there's no there, expectation. There. You're right. I mean, you no. Know, you no matter where you go, if you walk into a building now, if you walk into the, the stadium, any stadium, if you walk into the Buffalo Bill Stadium, if I walk into Bush Stadium, I'm on film. I'm right. on camera. They're eye and they got guys up in the up in this booth that are eyeballing you, just, just like the casinos. Thing, yeah. You walk yeah, in the casino. As soon as you come into the it. parking lot, your car is on camera. Right. Yeah. As soon as you go into a casino, they use facial recognition and they know exactly who you are to a T. Yeah. It, it, it'll bring up your license on their fucking board and everything if they wanted it to. Yeah, I mean, I bet. yeah, it, that facial recognition shit is no joke. And, uh, you know, the fact that they have apps that use facial recognition technology to open them and shit, that's scary kind of shit. You talk about evolving technology, but some of that technology oh, no is scary. You know, uh, yeah. if you can make a video, they call them deep fake videos of, I can make a video of Bruce talking. It's not even really him. I just take him right now, take a picture of it, and then I get it to animate it, and I can make him say whatever I want. And it's like, that's bad. That's the bad. You know, I mean, talk about misinformation. You know, I mean, right. it's, I can get him to do like he's, you know, a whole fairy and everything. I think I should make one. Yeah, that's what I would do. I'm going to make him one with her. Bruce. I'd make I, one Bruce. Yeah. I voted yeah. for Joe Biden, and I had 22 cocks in my face. Yeah. And yeah. I was forced, I was forced to do it. And if I didn't vote for Joe Biden, they were going to make me swallow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that, that'll be the, that'll be the, the script. A whole a, de, a, a democratic homosexual. Yeah. So instead, he, he just took a bukkake. A demo. He just took a major bukkake shower. Took a drop on his face and we'll call a, you the instead of a demigod, we'll call you a demo homo. They, they busted on my face, and that was the end of that shit. All in my glasses and shit. I had to clean my glasses and fucking yeah. sanitize them. And for three days, I was walking around looking at these little sperm cells running around on my glasses and shit. But I had, <laughs> the, hey, I had the hey. whitest teeth on earth. Hey, if I can get you off uh, 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 jerking off on my face, you're a sick pervert, motherfucker. You're a sick bastard. I'm sick shit, dude. Oh, listen, man. You, all, all you had to do is go to, like... Uh, you can't really do it anymore because the internet's so censored. But you could put some weirdest shit in and find porn on it. You know, I mean, like coming on old men, whatever. I mean, you put it on there and find not so much anymore because the internet's so censored. But I remember back in the day, you pop stuff in. I'd be like, "Whoa! I never even knew that was possible." Yeah. You know? Yeah, and now or, now it's not so bad. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, porn has come a long way. Uh, it, it to be liberated, as it were, because uh, you can pretty much go anywhere and get pornography. Oh, I mean, yeah. You, know, and, you, you can know, get regular you, girls with that only... You got, you got TikTok, you can go on and find porn, and that's live porn, and they TikTok. sell their time on there. I mean, that's prostitution, man. That, I mean, you can, you, can, you can get porn pretty much anywhere you want to, and they've liberated that. You just can't say, oh, don't take the vaccine. It's got a robot in it. And you can't say, you can't say I voted for Donald Trump and Donald Trump was a patriot. You can't say that that's misinformation, but you can look up any porn site you want. You can look up, you can look at beheadings on YouTube mm -hmm. where they cut people's heads off in, in Afghanistan. Well, that's and, part of, they that, stone, that helps the stone women. They, they stone women and they can put that on YouTube. Yeah. And get away with it. They can't. That's what bothers me about every time I put stone in. Kind of weird. I did is, but every time I put stone women in on YouTube, I get a bunch of fucking losers smoking crack. Yeah. No. Yeah. Do you ever but see I that? I can't say. I got. I I just got put in Facebook jail for three days. So, uh, uh over over some stupid shit. I mean, 
know what? That was that one comment was kind of kind of kind of borderline racist. I mean that 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 was. Yeah, uh, it kind of was. I mean, yeah, I don't uh, think I, we should repeat it on here. Yeah. I don't want you to repeat it on here. Yeah, but no. The thing is, though. Well, I know. I, I, the thing is on that one there. Well, I can bring it up if you if you knew I wasn't going to let you say it on the air. Then why would you bring it up? I mean, well, come because on, because because we were we were I was. I was just thinking about it going, but you know what? You can't let going into, let, think about it this way. You're it's out my for three opinion. days. It's my, it's my opinion and it's my choice. And, right. and now I said it. it down. You can put it in a book. You can write it down, but you can't put it on Facebook and you can't put it on Twitter. Well, well you can. You just get punished. Then you, right. get, just, uh, you just get punished. You get, kicked, uh, you get put in Facebook jail, which, which is... Totally fucking censorship, and and I don't think Donald censorship. Trump got censored. Donald Trump got kicked off for life. Yeah. I think you got a bad. You and he didn't say half a baddest thing as what you said. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he never even came close to what you said on there. Yeah, that was a, that was just a wee bit. That like, was really uh, close to. Uh, yeah, I mean, are you talking? Are, are you talking about the like snake shit? Yeah, the snake shit. Yeah, the snake shit. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. That, the, the, I wouldn't have done the, that. You do have. I am will defend freedom now, of speech. Now everybody wants to know what I said. Tough I will shit, defend I freedom of speech till till the end of time. But, but I can't tell you, folks, because this during, is you boo, during this age you of boo, culture, you can't wait, do it. Hold on. Let him get it out. Let him finish. I, I agree with who? Me? No, no, Guido, finish. Go ahead, Guido. Go ahead. What I was saying is, I will defend freedom of speech to no end. But in the time of cancel culture, I have to take my show and my ability to do this show over my ability to be freedom of speech. You know, um, exactly. Uh, exactly. I have to wait. What's more important to you? You have to weigh what's dis- more important to you. You can not, make it all you want. Yeah, I'm not di- going to dispute that. Personally, I, will, I will one-on-one defend this freedom of speech to anybody. But unfortunately, when you're on an internet, uh, you know, like YouTube and whatever, you have to follow the rules. Yeah, I understand that. I never, never, these, but uh, what I'm spanking. saying is, I think it should be changed. I think I, I, we should be sure. able to say what the hell we want. Well, I think I, it should be taken away as a free as a, a public platform because obviously it's no longer a public pl- pat platform if you're banning people for speaking their mind. Okay, well, we exactly. just said it. We I mean, just said it in the right. last segment. In the last right. segment, hold on. In the last segment, we said it though. You have no expectation of privacy in public. Sure. Facebook, right. Twitter, and all them sites are public. Right. And you have no they, they they can they can censor you, they can block you. I was on a on a swinger site for the longest time and I got I was in the political boards and I got kicked off of that motherfucker three times. Finally I just yeah. said I ain't going back. I got my yeah, Twitter well, page permanently banned. Permanently. Rights are not rights if they can take them away from you. But it's not it's not it is it's a not a right. It's not a right. It's it's not a a right. The government, business. the go- yeah, the government oh. doesn't own Facebook. It's privately owned. It's private, so it, it, it's you choose to go on there, and you choose. So it's kind of like it, it's kind of like uh, um, uh, I have the choice to serve you or not serve you in the restaurant, because uh, you, you're, you, you know, no, you're no. not dressed right, no. and you're I, not. Well, yeah, yeah. If you if you don't follow the dress attire and the sign yeah. says no entrance without a coat or tie, then yes, it's the same right. thing. It's the right. same. Thing. Yeah. It's a private company, but it's still in public, uh-huh. and you it's have no right. To, it's real it's close. It's close. the same fucking thing. It's if you were to go out and go to a restaurant in a predominantly African American neighborhood, and you go into this area and you go to a restaurant and you stand up in the middle of that restaurant on a busy night when it's full of guests and say what you said on Facebook. First of all, you're going to get your fucking ass kicked. You might even get shot. Secondly, 
Secondly, and, you will and be, not only that, it's just be, wrong. You will be asked to leave. And it's the same thing on fucking Facebook. Right, right. And and the thing of it is, is I at first didn't agree. Now I don't agree with 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 uh, banning somebody because of their political beliefs. That is to me the stupidest fucking concept ever. Okay, uh, for for racial or you know uh, against gay people or things like you know that are hateful. That's that's another thing. But but to ban somebody for their political ideals is a bunch of shit. Well, yeah, sure it is. It's a bunch but it of is shit. it is what it is. I mean, I know. You know, right I, now we're going to get through this. Mm-hmm. So, well, I don't know how, but we're going to get through this. Well, the greatest know, thing is with these social media uh, social media accounts, they may take your account away, but you could fucking make as many as you want. Yeah, you can go back in. Right. You know. Well, I don't know. You have to use a different device to sign up. No, you just use a different email. Yeah, so. well, yeah, get a new email. Well, I, I mean, thought it was on number. your, uh, no, it would be on your, um, it's going to be your, um, uh, uh, what is it called? Your ID. What is your ID? They know what your ID is. Oh, you don't it's, use VPNs? I use VPNs for everything. Nobody knows my ID. Yeah, well, I, I've got an I, a VPN too. I, maybe that's why my computer's lasting so long. Maybe that's the best thing to have, well, man. Ain't nobody's yeah. business what you go well, on. All I'm saying is, I think uh, you can't scorn one thing or the other. You got to either do them all or or not at all. And I think not at all. You no, can't I, fucking I, censor well, nothing. Well, and, and, that's... and I, well, I don't understand why you would think, but it, it is up to there because it is a private deal. It's not a government deal, which where your rights come in What's a government freedom of speech. What, what good is it to say press. your freedom of speech okay is one thing and press uh, and, and press freedom of speech is one thing but if it's hateful what good does it do hey it's your if it's your opinion it's free reign you can say whatever you want about me on facebook but what if or your whatever opinion actually really hurts somebody like i mean just emotionally hurts them well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, uh, there's a law against that. Uh, what is it called? Uh, free ride. So what you're saying is, uh, uh, what you're saying is, is if you're talking about a certain group of people, slander, slander. slander. You're talking you're not, about, a, yeah, you're not, you're not allowed, allowed to slander, slander an individual. Right. You're thinking of individual versus a group of people. So if you go after a group of people, that's racism. But if you go after an individual, that's slander. Right. That's the difference. Big difference. Well, yeah. I mean, it's one thing to say, I hate this dude. I fucking hate this guy. I can't stand him. And he happens to be a different color than me. Then to say, I don't like anybody that looks like him. Yeah. Then when you say that, then when you say that, then that's racist. Because anybody who looks like him. Well, it's just like the uh, Islamic phobia. Okay, well, a lot of. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I would not go over to the Middle East for for a reason. Okay. And because because it's fucking dangerous. There's a lot of good people over there, and sure. I still wouldn't go over there because I'd rather. It's you a know, dangerous place. Yeah. I would. You know, and, I would. And, and so is this. See. And, and and I thought, oh, you know, okay, well, you know, I'll speak my mind because it's it's a free world. Oh no, no, no. no we we can not. refuse service. We can we can refuse to serve you. We can refuse to sell you a pack of cigarettes. We it's, can refuse you, uh, for any goddamn reason we want to make up. They got and, they got sign on the window that says no shirt, no shoes, no service. That's right. There you go. There you go. We have the right to refuse service to anyone. Anyone, anytime. For when any I had reason. a bar, when I had a bar, I used to say no colors for the bikers. And they'd be like, I'm not allowed to come in here. No, you can. Your coat can. You yeah. know, that was the rule. Yeah. You know, uh, so I can understand. Oh. I, I can understand that Facebook has that right because there is there. I guess, you know, because I, I never realized. That, but. Uh, you know, because they're not really anything except for a private deal. So I guess well, they, they can secure their right on. after they became public on the stock market. They became a public entity 
which means that you can be photographed, you can yeah. be checked for content, you could be. It doesn't matter. You're in public. You have but no expectation of privacy. Privacy. But not only that, just because it was a private conversation, say between somebody you knew, somebody else that saw that might be offended by it and reported you. And that's probably what happened because you don't just yeah. offend that group of people. You offend other people too that feel differently. It, we're not just talking about if you don't like Hispanics or blacks or or Asians or whatever. There's other groups of people that are mad that you don't like them, so they'll report you too. It's not just a it's black not that I don't like them. Like I said, there's a lot of good people over there, but it's best to stay away if you don't feel safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I'm not going. You're not going unless I commit unless I commit a, a a severe error in in driving. I'm going to try and avoid certain neighborhoods. Because being a whiter, older person uh, in in a certain area is it's not, not a matter of racism; insane. it's a matter of trust. But it's also yeah. I'm not disagreeing with Reputation. you. Ninety percent of the people would avoid that if they if they could. And, and, but when you bring it to the public's attention, people then feel guilty for even feeling that way, so they'll report you. I'm telling you, right. that's yeah, what I'm right. telling you. No, you're absolutely right. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of pussies out there that won't let people speak their minds. And that's that's probably what the problem is with that. And that's all I have to say about that. But some but of us camera, shouldn't, you know, like, like your mom probably told you when you were younger, if you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say don't nothing. Say uh, yeah, oh, yeah, that. that's, yeah, okay, do what I tell you, don't do what I do. No, do. no, that's good <laughs> advice because it, it, it could save you from getting your ass kicked or getting your yeah. ass shot. And as Kenny Rogers said, you got to know when to turn the other cheek. No, it's no one to hold them and no one to fold them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about power is that, why, is that why my mom <laughs> tortured me and made me get a haircut when hair long hair was coming into into style? No, it's because and I knew I knew uh, one day. I knew one day that I was going to lose all my hair, right? And I said to myself, self, you better grow it while you can. And then uh, my mom, the mom would go, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Did your, yeah. mom, did your mom cut your own, your, your hair? Yeah, they, she used to cut her hair. Yeah. Oh, man, that sucks. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Oh. Mm. It was not too bad. bad. I had a punch I my mom. I, I, <laughs> that was right when the Beatles were, were coming out and shit. I know. I, I know. Shit, I, I wasn't know. even thought of for another like fifteen years. Well, you right. didn't have to go through that haircut shit, man. That was brutal. Talk about I had a mullet. I grew up in the eighties, man. I look like, like like Joe Dirt. Yeah, I look like Billy Ray Cyrus, though. Oh, like really? Joe Dirt. Yeah, <laughs> I had one. I rocked that mullet, man. You talking well, to my boy all wrong? I didn't want a mullet, but my Great hair movie. is from the Mediterranean, so when it gets long, it curls up, and it either grows out like Don fucking Henley or Joe Dirt. So I said, "Fuck it, I'm not getting long hair." You know. So, uh, did you guys have being of Jewish descent? Did you have the Jew fro ever? No, no, no. 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 I had long hair down to my shoulders. Yeah. Because yeah. Don Henley, he must be Jewish. He had. Don Henley is Jewish. Is he? He had yeah. to be, because that hair is just beautiful, man. His hair was beautiful. Yeah. And with that beard and that thing, man, oh, that Don Henley, that's why Don Henley got all the chicks back then, man. Yeah. He was, yeah. Now he looks yeah, like yeah. an old man, like he's fucking uh, uh, Ernest Hemingway or something. Okay, uh, off of any movie, off of any movie, guys, okay, say a line and the other two have to guess what movie it was in. Okay. Are you a good girl or are you a no, bad no, girl? No, no, Can't no, 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 no. Let's get back to that. I got, I got one question. I just did mine. What question? Right. What's your question? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Never mind. Uh, what's your question? Oh, Okay. Um, can can you either one of you give me a, a, a like with the other week or so ago we we had the uh, best villains the guy who played the best villain how about the, we can't we can't 
what, let us do his thing, and then we can do your damn thing. Well, mine's short. You his is pretty long. You need, how is his long? You got to say a line from a fucking movie. That's gonna be that's gonna be a good game. But but what I I'm asking a good question here. That, you can ask the best question at who, the who end. Played of the the, who Kill played him. the best villain chick, female villain of of the movies? Uh, not very many, but I ha I have one. Okay, to female. answer your question, Todd, because you asked first, that that's not that's rude. I'm not. Yeah. I, can't do that. No, yes, but he's gonna. Like I was, I was saying that Toddy's this guy over here is gonna be. You know that we can go on and on about that. I mean, I I come up with all kinds of lines of movies. I can't That's think of. I and you already know my answer. It, it's what's her name Bates, Catherine Bates in Misery. That's the one I had. I don't have any other. All right, Which if I had to pick one, know. mine's Nurse Ratchet from fucking. Uh, uh, <laughs> Over the cookies. Very good. Very good. Who played her? I can't even remember her name. I used to know it, but that's why I said her uh, actor. One, one name. flew over the cuckoo's nest. Yeah. Great Irene, movie. Oh, was it Irene? Very no, good. good call, brother. I can't remember good her name. Call. But she was kind of famous at one point in her career. I can't remember. But it's yeah. all right. Now to get back to the movie line thing. Okay. Uh, now right. I, I did the accent and everything. Now let me try to get. Uh, uh, are you a good girl or are you a bad girl? You can't be both. Oh, uh, that was um, staying alive. Well, close. John, Tra John Travolta. Saturday Night Fever. Saturday Night Fever. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to you because yeah, yeah, Saturday yeah. Night Fever. John Travolta. Yeah, yeah. It, it's always messing with my hair. You know, it's always messing. Hair. With, yeah, I'm always hitting me a hair. hair. Oh, why do you gotta hit my hair? One pot <laughs> shot. One <laughs> what is that? What is that? What the fuck is that? Wow. Oh, he stumped me. Or he's the horriblest actor on earth. Well, uh, Joe Dirt, it was a uh, 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 full metal jacket. Oh. Full metal jacket, sergeant from. Oh, choke yourself. I want you to choke yourself. <laughs> no, my hand. Choke yourself. <laughs> Put your neck in there. Now he was choke. going. What? What is that? That's a jelly donut. <laughs> and why aren't you supposed to have a jelly donut? You fat son of a bitch. Yeah. I see your shorts as big as mine. Fat body. I love the part where he, where he figures out his his uh, rifle. He figures out how to clean his rifle and shit and dismantle it and shit. He goes, well, goddamn, Pa, I think we found something you can do. <laughs> that, that, that guy had, a, Vincent D'Onofrio, had to gain like 60 pounds to play that row of pile. Yeah. He was a nice, trim, fit man, and he had to grow all that flab to play that part. He's done a lot of good movies after that, though. All right. Yeah, I got one for you. It might be oh. an easy It might be an easy one for you. Okay. You smell that? You smell that? Napalm? Napalm. Yeah. Napalm. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory. victory. Uh, um, 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 apocalypse, apocalypse now. Yeah. 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 And who was the actor? <laughs> that was Duvall. Tom. That was, that was Duvall. Duvall. Robert Duvall. Yeah, Robert Duvall. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. Clap, 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 clap. Very uh, good. If you folks out there listening tonight want to come in, come in and ask us, you know, give us a line. Maybe we can follow up on it. All right. Anybody, you guys got any, another line? Come on, give us a line. Somebody. I did it for you. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, let's do it for John. Let's do it for Johnny. Uh, uh, what the fuck? I'll give you the actor that said it. That's it. Matt Dillon. The Outsiders. The Outsiders. Oh, that's a fucking class. Oh, they they had knife fights and shit in that movie. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah, they had knife fights in it. Yeah, that's when they were going to the the the, the gang fight there, the rumble. Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, we come okay, from different one, time periods. So, oh, here's one. Here's wait. 
Okay. I'll be back. Oh my god. Oh god, really? Terminator. Come on. Come that's on. that's Come like on, saying really? yo Adrian. <laughs> yo Adrian. Yeah. 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 All right, you got one, Guido? You got one? I had one, but it's kind of bad. Go ahead. The new, the new shiv is, sheriff is a ding. <laughs> blazing saddles, blazing He's saddles, blazing saddles. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me when I whip this one out. Oh. <laughs> great movie. Great movie. What the hell is this? I see the your shit. The main <laughs> parkway. Somebody go back and get a shitload of dimes. <laughs> cha ching, cha ching. <laughs> <coughs> what was what was the guy's name? Hedley Lamar. Yeah, Hedley Lamar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What great actors, man! What great actors. Oh sure. Fucking I help. eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. Oh, Happy Gilmore. <laughs> for breakfast? No. <laughs> Here's one for you. I know you have. Yeah. What? I know you have, but what am I? I can't do it again. <laughs> I forget it. I can't do it again because I'm coughing. But uh, let's. I can't think of any more because I don't really like movies, dude. I like documentaries. I'm a fucking rich Oh, you come know? on, come on. Johnny okay, here's Ringo. One. Where you going with that shotgun? Tombstone. Tombstone, yes. You, are you talking you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Your mic's not working. I wasn't talking. Oh. Working for me. It always see if one of you it doesn't work for. And, and, What'd you and, do? Uh, Turn uh, down your volume again? Check your volume again. <laughs> no, it's up. Yeah, no, because every week it's one or the other can't hear me. It's you know. It's well, you're still voice. choppy, but well, whatever. Uh, your brain's all choppy. Hmm. It must just be for through this because when I do the playback, nobody's choppy. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. You don't listen to the whole show. Yes, I do. Stop it. I do. He's talking and we can't hear him. I do. Look, he's talking. I hear everything. Yeah, you don't hear everything. You don't. He still can't hear us. And I, I do can't. watch the show. I watch the show. That's good. Yes. You get an hour and a half into the last week's show, and you'll see your radio just falls off. Yeah. I never see it. Your brother's talking to nobody. Yeah, he's just talking. He's talking to nobody. I think he's faking. Or he can't hear. Yeah, he's faking. Yeah. See, he's just going. Yeah, yeah. But he would figure it out by now. <laughs> yeah, this is. All that's right, like so we're done playing shit, and uh, you're done with that. And uh, you know, fast ride. I can't hear you. I can't believe he's talking, and 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 if he's not faking it. He's talking yeah. up a storm over here. He's doing I a good job. It. There I you was go. It at. I know you are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done playing with that shit. That shit sucks. All right. No, that was a pretty good game. That's a good game. You can come up hey. with some other lines. <sighs> let's do a let's do a little little uh, duet. Bing, yeah, boom. Yeah. No, let's not. Mockingbird, have you heard? <laughs> oh, I'm vacation. I'm gonna buy you a rocking bird. <laughs> it's a mockingbird, not a rocking bird. Yeah, not a. It's that, is that the one by uh uh what's it James James Taylor and uh what was her name Big Tits? No, what uh, movie was Kitty. that? What was that? What was the movie he was in? Uh, vacation. Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it was, it was, it was Dumb and Dumber. Uh, Vacation yeah. was the other song. Remember when she did the fucking the dirty scene and the guy stole the camera? 
Yeah. <laughs> and then he said, Carl, you you deleted that, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, honey. And then they find it at, at the movies, the porno shop. Oh, that was the, that was the European vacation. Yeah. yeah. yeah it was European vacation. Yeah. You I love the that. best. The best vacation was with the was Vegas. No, the, uh, uh, I didn't like that one, and I'll tell you, this is the reason. Every vacation that came out, Audrey and Rusty got fucking uglier. I mean, younger, not uglier, younger. It's like, wait a minute. Shouldn't they grow up? When Christmas yeah. came out, they were little kids again. They were like younger than they were in the first place. You know? Yes, I, I know that was a little confusing, but I think I, uh, the vacation one was, was the funniest motherfucker that they did. They, the really? I, I still go with the first one. No, he likes like Vegas. The first one. He likes Vegas, the last one. Wally, Wally World? That first, that's my favorite one. Yeah, that first one's my favorite. Cousin Eddie like, made that. Cut, that's so great. Oh. oh, yeah. I'm friends oh, with him yeah. on and Twitter, you know. Cousin, you? cousin Eddie yeah. was in Vegas, too. Yeah. With, yeah. With, 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 uh, they were out there at the nuclear plant where they used to test nukes and shit, and he was yeah. living out there, and he <laughs> had the snakes. He, him, the, uh, Clark, and Ellen were the only three in all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was in Chris. And I think, and the, and his wife was in all four. His years. wife. Yeah. 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 His wife. Yeah. She was Before the same. Was, and yeah. then she said, well, at least you're not pregnant again. And then she starts crying. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. The, the, the Christmas vacation was a, was a good one, too. The Christmas no, vacation. I, I thought it was Christmas okay. Vacation. No, I love Christmas vacation, but you ta- you got to take it out of the vacation universe because it's a standalone, I think. Like, you know, it's, it a, it's meant to be a Christmas movie. So right. that girl, uh, uh, she was in, uh, uh, she was in uh, um, with um, Woody Harrelson when they went around and they they killed everybody. It was like uh, what was the name of that movie? Uh, oh, um, uh, Natural Born Killers. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was in that movie, and uh, she was. In- yeah, what's her name? Um, yeah. Oh, Juliette Lewis. Juliette oh. Lewis. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. As I said, they were always different. Audrey's and Rusty too. But like the second Rusty was this redheaded kid who was kind of dorky looking. But the first Rusty man, Anthony Michael Hall, did the shit. Man, he did played that part perfect. You know. Yeah, and, oh he yeah, so, so did, and so was his sister. Yeah. So was his sister. I mean, yeah. she was spot on. She got mm-hmm. that homegrown weed from what's her name out there in Kansas. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was and, hilarious. That and was Papa hilarious. Giorgio. What, Papa Giorgio was. He he played that good too. That kid was good too. Yeah. Who, who? I was wondering if you could spare a little bit of cash. Yeah. Well, sure, man. Sure. He pulls yeah. out his wallet. He says, uh, "How much do you need?" Oh, about twenty five thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like when he goes. You got asteroids? No, but my dad's got hemorrhoids. You know. <laughs> and then there was another great. There was another great series. It was. Uh, the wedding, the American Pie uh, series is sure. sure. Usually, no, American Pie was pretty funny. Yeah, Levy, I, I don't give a fuck what he's in. It's funny. He's funny. The, uh, he's funny. Yeah, the, uh, the wedding was the best one. Really? No. Yeah, I like the oh, first. Yeah. I like the when first. the dog shits out the fucking uh, engagement ring. Fucking hilarious, the dog. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the wedding. That's Remember, the wedding one. or was that the second one when Stifler drank the cup of semen? That was Stifler drinking the cup of semen. Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I liked it when what's in the first one where he fucked Stifler's mom. Mm-hmm. Stifler's mom's got it going on. Oh yeah, that was fucking god. The, 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 the wedding was the funniest, man. I mean, they really. Well, what, what did you think of the were, Hangover series? The what series? The Hangover. The Hangover. I didn't like it. I've what? only seen one and two. I haven't seen three. Well, three, three is not as good as one and two. I'll give you that much. It's funny. But not as funny as one and two. Uh, but one just, it was one of those movies that just made me almost pee my pants, you know. Uh, yeah, it was it's just really that funny. And the second one was just as funny, but it, it, it was different now because you expected things to happen. So it wasn't as funny, you know. Uh, I didn't, I didn't one, like it. I liked that as about as much as I liked the Harry Potter series. Harry Potter? Yeah, <laughs> that sucked. Mm-hmm. Well, neither one. None of us were into Harry Potter. And, were you and, ever into Harry and, Potter? And you know what I'm. You know what I'm glad that really died was the uh, uh, zombie uh, motif. I hated the zombies. They oh, yeah. were so. 
It was the fuckedest fucking series that ever fucking lived. Well, you got the vaccine, so you'll be seeing it soon. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you'll be eating human flesh. Yeah. You'll be eating yeah, human flesh. <laughs> that was the most stupid fucking thing I ever seen, was, man. That was a, a, a concept since George Romero's very first uh, Night of the Living Dead. You know, yeah. as soon as right. it came out. And you know what? That was a great movie in black and white. That was the best one still. Night of the Living Dead? Day. That was yeah. the yeah. scariest movie I ever saw. That was one yeah. of the scariest movies I ever seen. Do you think yeah. that was scarier than The Exorcist? Um, It's right up there with it. Yeah. It's right That's up the there same. with it. The Exorcist scared me a little bit. Now I'll I'll say that that my daughter, she uh, she said, "Oh, scary movies don't scare me. They're funny. I like to watch them because they make me laugh." Blah blah blah. So I went to the video store when they had video stores, and right. I got The Exorcist, and I popped that in. I said, "Well, you ain't seen nothing yet till you see this." Right. And so I popped it in, and there were no interruptions. We had popcorn, <laughs> and we sit there in the dark, and it was on about Halloween time. Yeah. And that movie left a mark on my daughter. Well, That's see, still. your daughter's from the same generation as I am. She's from the slasher horror film, where they are kind of comical. It's the same yeah. concept. But that's a horror movie. It's so different. People think these slasher films are not horror movies. Yeah. They're, go they're gore. Well, the, the climax yeah. of that movie yeah. is like an acid trip, that movie, yeah. The Exorcist. It went sure. from everything is calm, everything is cool. Oh, she pissed on the floor. Oh, she fucking, she went down the fucking stairs backwards. Oh, oh, she 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 yeah, oh, she told the, the pilot, you're going to die up there. You're going to die up there. And then she stands there and pisses on the floor. That yeah. sends shivers up my spine just thinking about it. You know, there's think, a cut. Think about that. That you're the pilot, and you're she's right. talking to you. You're gonna die up there. Yeah. And and uh, oh yeah. Did yeah, you ever see much. The, the unedited version where she sticks the crucifix up her crotch? Yeah. yeah. Oh I've seen, God, we've that, seen the original. I mean, yeah. I saw it when they didn't cut it at all. Right, Look what right. your cutting daughter has done now. Yeah, oh yeah. my God, you talk yeah. about fucking scary. I mean, shit. And then the priest comes in, right. and and the young priest comes in, and he's with her, and and uh, Domi, Domi, his mother's talking to him and shit right. to her, and uh, uh, what, what are you doing there? She sucks cock in hell. I'm going, <laughs> oh my fucking god, yeah. man. Yeah. I mean, come on. That movie I, pushed the envelope ooh. for its time. Ooh. For its time, that movie <laughs> every envelope. You know what? But, I've been to those stairs. Where they threw uh, the guy out of the windows. So I've been to. I've Coming been to in those. Son of a bitch. Bah, I've been bah. to DC and I've been up and down those stairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that they they say that was based on a true event in Georgetown. Some it happened in Georgetown. That's where I. That's where it was. That was the exact. I, I know. Well, that's I know. The, right that's where it was filmed. Now you're you're missing the concept on this. This actually happened in St. Louis. Right. It was a story of a girl at the institution over on Arsenal. Remember Arsenal Street, Bruce, over yeah. there by um, uh, uh, Kings Highway in Arsenal. There's an institution there, and she was. Uh, it was actually a, a little boy, right. and that's the story. Uh, I, he did some crazy stuff. He was yeah, possessed. I do remember it being a boy. I I, I don't remember this, uh, the St. Louis thing. I don't remember it at all, but I do remember it being based to the real one was a boy. Uh, that Peter Blatty wrote the script from, or the book from. Uh, but they yeah, changed there another, it. There was a bunch of movies derived off of that, too, that weren't near as good. Well, no. Actually, they, you could yeah. ever, the original. The true no. story of the, it was inspired by a young man. Uh, Stephen something, right? Yeah. Uh, it's easy to do, 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 do. I read the book. I can't remember. That was so long ago. Uh, I you know, know what book it's I in read? the Bell Noir neighborhood. It was on 8435 Roanoke Drive, maybe their worst kept secret. They can't sell that house. They've never sold that house. It's still there. You should buy it. it. No, I'm not buying that. What are you, Why not? What are you Ghostbusters? Yeah, let's what do I, it. Ghostbusters? Yeah, the Ghostbusters are having a uh, uh, a new movie come out called Smallville. Yeah. Yeah. And, no, it's a, not a, is it a movie? Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. And it's gonna, about the next generation of Ghostbusters, which is yeah. really cool. It's uh, the grandkids of Dan Aykroyd. Yeah, yeah, and Bill Murray. Yeah, yeah. and Bill Murray. It's, right. well, it's, 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 yeah. 
they really screwed it up when they went and tried to be politically correct and put women in the role and everything. Yeah, well, that, that you know, was not and, my favorite thing. You know, that I mean, didn't go well. No, the whole thing of that is casting old characters in, in either ethnic roles now or women roles now. It's stupid. Just get new characters. N nothing about, you know, they can't have them. Sure, you can have them. But let's do different characters. Let's not take old well, characters. I, switch. I wish, I wish they would have done that with 007. They, they, this, I'm Bond, James Bond, and it's a different guy than Sean Connery. It's not, and, and they just kept doing it and doing it with all these, about what, 20 of them? Yeah. Uh, um, uh, all different yeah. Bonds. And I didn't like that at all. I, I didn't care for that. You, you didn't like I, that, but I didn't like any other James Bond but Roger Moore because that's who I grew up with. So that's different because it all depends on who you grew up with. Yeah. Now, well, kids like, that grew up with uh, Pierce Bronson will say he's the best James Bond. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, when we all best? know Sean Connery was the there was the best James Bond. He did the most too. Uh, the no, Wild Roger. Wild West. The Wild Wild West. Who was the best? Um, um, Adam, what's his name? West. Adam West. Who was the best? Adam West. Was it? Uh, who was the original guy? Uh, uh, Conrad. Was James it Conrad? Conrad? Yeah, yeah. Conrad, or was it? Uh, what's his name? Um, you mean Batman? Batman? You mean? No, the, no, no, the black guy. Will Smith. Will, Will Smith. Smith. I think Will Smith was a better Adam West. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that, now, sometimes with the movie ad, ad, ad adaptations like that, I don't mind so much. But when you purposely do it, like if you're just doing a character because that's the way the character went, I don't, I don't care. But now when you purposely like say it's Hawkman and now it's Hawk Woman, why? Get, get something. Well, okay. Captain America is a woman. Stop it. Yeah, Captain Marvel now too. You know. Yeah, Captain Marvel was a woman. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. give me I a never fucking got break. off on those Marvel superhero guys. I never. That well, was, the only one know. that I really liked was uh, the uh, the incredible was the uh, Incredible Hulk. Yeah. He was the, like he was the only one I got into, and he and people forget he was one of the original Superman. Didn't turn me on. No, and didn't turn Superman. Me on. Who was the guy made out of rock? Who was that guy? Thor. Not Thor. Thor. No, not Thor. Oh. No, Thor. no, not Thor. Thor was the other. Oh my Stone. God! I know. That was a Stone. Stone. Man. Stone <laughs> man. He was part of the Fantastic Four. Yeah, I can't think yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, fuck! Not Thor. Something like that. Not Stone Man. Yeah, uh, you're stoned, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it was Rocky or something. I don't know. Oh my God! You're just making shit up. No, it was not Rocky. <laughs> yeah. It was the uh, thing. It was the thing. The thing. The thing? Yeah, put up, type in the thing. I think it was the thing. I think. The thing, the thing was that long haired thing on uh, uh, Adam's family. That was the thing. Oh, that was it. It. Oh. Yeah. Thing was the hand. Yeah. Oh. No, th yeah, the thing from another world. Uh, uh, no, that wasn't it. Uh, what was it? The. Uh, um, uh, Fantastic Four, right? Yeah, Fantastic Four had yeah, him. Well, that, that all sucked anyway. He so was Rocky. Ro his name was Rocky Bell Rocca. All know. that shit, all that cartoon shit sucked. Why? Why? What's wrong with comic books? Sometimes you know comic what? Books I, I lost <laughs> interest in, in cartoons when they when they stopped making like Bugs Bunny the moving like they're actually there, and they they went to these stone faces, you know. Like, yeah. uh, you know, I didn't like that at all, man. Uh, well, you know, it's all about animation. I thought animation it was ain't all get about good. you, <laughs> yeah. but it it got really bad. Robotic. It got <laughs> it got really bad. That's what people like now. You know, most most people like anime, which is right. the Japanese animation that I watched it and I'm like, oh. what the fuck. But people like love it. the Lion King, the Lion King, those the, the lions moved like lions and shit. And they were, you know, uh, yeah. you know, they were moving, you know, it wasn't robotic like uh, uh, Speed Racer and shit like that, man. They, those cartoons really blew the big one. Speed Racer was fucking huge. Johnny Quest, man. Sucked. Oh, my yeah. God. Haji and. Fucking uh, gee, Johnny Quest was great. I love it. What was it. the dog's name? Well, see, you guys were in that generation. I didn't like that. When they I, when, oh, when no, they finished no. with the Roadrunner and, and all those good ones, 
and you know the Tasmanian Devil and oh, I know, like those too though. I like those too. Yeah, those are Looney Tunes. That's different cartoons. I'm, you know, there was boy cartoons like designated back then too, like Johnny Quest. You know, it was kind of like a boyish cartoon where other ones were girly. I mean, you watched what you watched. I remember watching fucking. My favorite thing to watch was the Banana Splits. Remember the Banana Splits? Oh God, you are gay. Yeah, I love that man. One banana, and two banana, like, two banana four. Yeah. You liked you liked uh, the Teletubbies too, right? I didn't like Teletubbies. No, no, that was a little after my time. But anyways, I think my my God. nephew liked Teletubbies. My daughters did it, but my nephew did. Um, a lot of kids did. Shit, a lot of that stuff is kind of you have to be childlike to even perform those things. They're weird, you know. Right. No, uh, he's still searching for that guy's name. I'm still looking for his name. I can't find him. Uh, Cast. <laughs> Cast. That's funny. What are you looking for? His name? I'm looking for the guy's name. I can't find uh, his uh, fucking name. Hey Siri, what role did Michael Chiklis play in, in the Fantastic Four? Which one? I found two Michael Fantastic Four people with Michael Chiklis. I own Griffith, Jessica Alba, and others. Let's see. No, don't open it. You still haven't found it? No. I think it was Stone Man or something. Stonehenge or something. Stonehenge, stop it. You're making that up now. It's not Stonehenge. Yeah, I think, I think it was Rock Man or something. Yeah. Here, I'll tell hard, you one second. Hard guy. Hard guy. That's you. Hard headed. Calabrese. Hard, hard guy. Yeah, that was his name. Hard guy. His name was Viagra uh, Boy. But all them <laughs> Magical Mystery Tour shit sucked, all that. What are you talking about, Magical Mystery Tour? All oh, them fucking magical movies about the, you know, magnificent, uh, you know, X-Men. And they, they are all blue. They was, they was worse than the goddamn uh, zombies. Those make you so know? much friggin' money. The zombie generation sucked. Yeah, I'm glad they pulled out of that. They, they, I, oh, they, you don't hear nothing about that now. It used to be every the, fucking the day you hear about that. zombies. They suck. His name was Thing. Like I said, his name was Thing. Ben Grimm, the Thing. I just looked it up right there. The Thing. It was the Thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I said that before. You said no. It was. Uh, that's the thing. Well, that's how. That's how popular they were. You know, they suck. Yeah. Yeah. They sucked. <laughs> Listen, if, if all you like is Looney Tunes, that's kind of hey, hey, silly. Hey, I that's read this. I read this book one time, right? I was in jail. Yeah. And I was in... <laughs> Go ahead. Yes. So, right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, I read this book, and you, dude, dude, it scared the fucking shit out of me. And I was behind bars. It was called The Amityville Horror, the yeah. book. Oh, God, the first part of it, man, tear you up. But, you know, it got suck after that, you know. But the first part, oh, shit, it drew you in, you know. The walls were bleeding and shit, and you're going, oh, fuck, they can get in here, you know. I'm going, Jesus. Do you know that you know? they made a movie about that? Yes, I know they did, and it, it wasn't as good as the book. Uh -huh. Nothing no, no it ever is as good as How about the uh how about the Freddy Krueger? How about I Freddy Krueger? He finally died off, didn't he? No, the I last remember, time we did a Freddy Krueger movie. I the, read uh, Apple's Mitch, okay. um The Cider House Rules. I read that book, The Cider House Rules, you know? Mm -hmm. You know yeah. that movie? Mm -hmm. uh, the movie was better than the book. Yeah. Well, that's usually unusual, but I always find the book more fascinating than the movie, usually, but. I'm right. not a book reader, man. I like to, you know, if you're going to explain it, explain it to where I can understand it. Books are like, I don't know, they're boring to me. If you read the book because you're reading the book, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to let the book take you away and read it right. and get yourself trapped in there. And it's your vision through somebody yeah. else's words. 
that's and when you're sitting in when you're sitting in the slammer, you want to get away, and that's your yeah. best way to get away. Now, a director's attempt is to take the book that he read or she read and turn it into their version of the movie. So when you watch a movie, it's only that director's version of what they saw in the book. You might right. get something totally different off the book, and that's why the book is so much more important, I believe, because it's the words. If you get read the book the right way, you can get part be part of the story, and you can make the story any way you want. Like you know, like this way. I think it's this. I think he bet this. Where when you watch it in the movie, it's like, oh, that's what it meant. But no, that's not actually what it made a meant. That's what the person that read the book and made the movie saw. <laughs> so yeah, that the could book. be true. That's the point. Read the book. Uh, well, always. The Cyber I read the Rule Godfather. movie was better than the book, way better I, than the book. I didn't read or see the movie, so I can't comment on that. But one thing I did do is I, I, I saw the Godfather movie before I read the book. So I saw the Godfather movie and thought it was the greatest story ever told. Then I read the book and said, hell no, this book is so much better than the movie. So much better. It was more in depth depth rather it explained more you got you were like part of the corleone the business yeah part of the business right and it yeah. was much more informative and 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 actually more entertaining than the actual movie because right. then you get the vision how sonny got killed you don't get to fucking uh, see what the director saw you know right. now you they got what, this new new thing coming out on the sopranos the soprano story it's a new pre movie oh, yeah, this is going to be uh, uh, this is going to be good. I can't wait to see this. Uh, yeah, that's where like Tony and where Uncle Tony, Junior, Tony's yeah, dad. Yeah, Tony's dad uh, yeah. gets him into the business and shit. It's really yeah. good. And yeah. Tony's dad. It's more when Tony's dad was a young man and Uncle Junior was a young man. He and said, so, he, uh, yeah, he always said he wanted to make something better of himself than to to get into the organization, but he right. he got hooked. Well, so, and the yeah. only reason they're going prequel is because Gandolfini died. They wanted yeah, to do a Sopranos yeah. movie, but they said they can't ever replace him as Tony Soprano. That it's never yeah. going to happen. Nobody is going to believe it. You have to wait thirty years from now to replace him because he's Tony Soprano. You know, he he's right. such so Tony Soprano that when people saw him in other movies, they'd say, "Hey, look, Tony Soprano's in this movie, not James Gandolfini." You know, it's like. Uh, yeah, that's he, he. That's his character. Nobody can play that ever. Right. So I think it's a wise move. And his, yeah. and Tony's uh, James Gandolfini's real life son is playing, playing part of Tony Soprano as a young man. Yeah. Yeah, as a uh, younger man. Yeah. So it's going to be good. I I, w I will see it. I've seen every episode of The Sopranos. Oh, I've seen every episode several times, man. I I, I just like. <laughs> I used to change my schedule. This was back in the day when when you couldn't like you know watch it later. You had to watch it on the night and make sure that I didn't work Sunday night just so I could watch it every week. You know because yeah. that's important yeah. to me. And, and now well, you can watch it anytime you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can watch it anytime you want. Now it's like uh, I love the one where they kill fucking uh, uh, pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he says he says not in the face, guys. Not in the yeah. face. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah. They, they fucking uh, pull the brains out. They hey, fuck him up. It's a bad thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's come on. Let's go get a spritz. They they <laughs> they suspected him. They thought he was fucking. He was going over to the other side. That's you ever the seen is. the Sopranos? There, skin knee scab. You know, I've seen a few of them and I liked them, uh, but I didn't. I didn't do the whole series. Oh man, I it's mean, do yourself uh, a favor. Incredible, incredible. Yeah. And if you can look up the the uh, the mini series, um, uh, Boardwalk. Yeah, Boardwalk uh, Empire. Boardwalk board Empire. Oh yeah. my God, mm -hmm. fucking great. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's got all the guys, and it. it's got it's got Capone, it's got fucking Jockey White, it's got all these characters, uh, well, Rothstein. Yeah. yeah, they got all the bad guys from back in the day. And right. it's on the boardwalk. It's on uh, in Jersey City, on the boardwalk. Wow. Yeah, it's good. It's on it's the good. board. It's under the boardwalk, though, out by the sea. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, under the boardwalk. Oh, yeah. yeah. See what I did there? Thing, man. Yeah. Who did? Uh, fucking. Uh, what the, the hell was his name? God. Meyer, you, Meyer Lansky. I, no, it, well, Meyer Lansky was in it. Um, Is it R? Is it out by the sea or is oh. it 
Oh, Roth. Roth. His name is just yeah, Roth. Yeah, I'm Roth. Yeah. I'm yeah. Roth. Yeah. And um and you know, just business. Just business. Um Do you know in the movie The Godfather, remember Hyman Roth was in there and uh his assistant's name was Johnny, Johnny Ola. That was yeah. Dominic Chianese, who played Uncle Junior in the Sopranos later on. I think it's down by the sea. Down by the sea, probably. I just uh, was doing it. If I'm not singing it, I'll forget the words. I was kind of speaking it. So I have to sing the song to remember the words. That's how I am. But if I speak it, sometimes I get it wrong. So thank okay. you for your correction. Good yeah. Um, Nuki Thompson was played by Steve Busco Busky Buskimi. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's his name, Buskimi. Yeah, and then uh, uh, Dormady Michael Pitt was uh, Jimmy. Yeah, oh man, the, the one guy that if that alcohol, yeah, that alcohol fire, he was in big trouble. That uh, ATF guy, he yeah. was in big trouble. I never yeah. seen the whole thing of Boardwalk Empire. I I've seen some of it. I should watch that though. I never really. It was really good. I enjoyed every it. bit of it. Because I'm always, uh, I my favorite mob movie, well, obviously The Godfather, but if uh, you want an action-packed mob movie, it would have to be either uh, um, the wise, wise, no, what the hell is that one? Wise Guy. You know, wise or, Guys. Yeah. Wise or Casino. Good fun. Good, good fellas. Good fellas. That's what I meant. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah good fellas. And, uh, and Casino. Both of them yeah, right in the top for me. Oh yeah, Joe Joe Pesci was a fucking prick in both mm -hmm. those movies. 